Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Just had uh, an old fella come in, they just wanted a few bales of straw, so uh, they got a few cows or whatever I think, and they just want to try and make their hay last a little bit longer, so he took a few bales, he's out of here now. This morning I got to go bring some sheep in for dad, there's like, I think it's 50 or 70 sheep or something that have to be shorn tomorrow. So I've got to get those in the yard so the shearer can come out tomorrow and do them. So we'll go and do that first thing while it's nice and cool this morning. Get it out of the way. You want to come move some sheep in? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Hop up. Good boy. How's your cracking barley going? <laughs> what? How's your cracking barley going? Well, the cracking barley has been harvested and cut for hay last year, darling. Where'd that come from? Now the question will be, will the sheep be close to the house or a long way away from the house? Um, a long way. I reckon they're going to be as far away as they can possibly be in this paddock. I, 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 pray, I pray they're going to be far, far away. I think you're right. Jeez, those things are woolly. The wind is coming from the east, so they're gonna wanna keep going that way, which is really annoying. Yeah. Oh, Waldo's just helped himself to the sheep. <laughs> I never told him to get off. Hey, come here. Come here. Waldo going out again? Nah, Waldo's still in there. Push him up. Hop up. Hop up. Good boy. Well, hopefully they'll just walk down along this fence line now, P. It's good. It's good. Get away! Good boy, come here! Thank you! Hop up! Daddy. Hop up! Oh, well, that's the first hurdle past. Uh, we'll just get them into this little containment yard here and then they're, uh, they've just got to sit there for the rest of the day and uh, they'll be shorn in the morning. I think from memory, Dad bought these sheep at the last market, whenever that was, a week or so ago, just because they're woolly. He just wants to shear them and get the wool. So cash money, cash wool, baby. So yeah, we just push them around into here. There's a trough and that in here for them for the rest of the day and uh, then uh, we'll push them in the shed uh, later on today, I think, for the morning. Waldo, come here! Let's see if he'll bring those sheep over here, if I park over here. If he's a good boy, that's what he should do. Oh, he's doing it. He's bringing them. Good boy, come here. Good boy. Hey, where are you going? He's going to get in the trough. Yep. <laughs> well, job job's done now, P. What do you think? Yeah, job's done now. I hope you do the shearing tomorrow. Yeah, you can go down and help with the shearing. Yeah. Good boy. You're a good help today. Sometimes I never know what I'm going to get when I use Graham's dogs. Would you like to exit, ma'am? Ah, binoculars. <laughs> yeah, binoculars. Whoa. <laughs> you better fill up their trough, eh, Pia? Yeah. I haven't got much here with me to clean it out, but my hands will do, won't they? Should 
should have bought a broom or something with me, shouldn't have I, Pia? Yeah. Makes total sense. Have a drink, have a bath, and then urinate on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sheep have water, they're in the yards. Pia's had her doggy stick song as requested by her. Everything's good in the world. I just got to run into the town here quickly. Got to go to the bank and get Dad some dog food and a few things like that. And then when we're done there, we got to run about 10 k's north. We've got a trough to clean out and some water there to check. So we'll run up and do that. Hopefully my chores for dad are just about done by then, which will be good. Well, I don't need to hop out and check the level of that tank, do I? We might shut that pump down, I think, because it's going to spew water absolutely everywhere. Most of the bore water on our farm now, there's, a, apart from maybe one, one, there's one windmill maybe left, I think, but the rest is solar pumps these days. Yeah, windmills are just a pain in the neck. They seem to always break down or have some sort of a problem or something's flying apart on them or whatever. Well, that trough's not too bad actually, but we might just give it a clean up while we're here. Make sure they got nice clean water. Yeah, it's a big mob of ewes in there, and the ewes, they're not too bad with troughs, so they don't tend to trash them too much, but lambs, oh my goodness, those things would be swimming in the trough if they could, so yeah, you pretty much got to be there every day or every other day to clean it out. Holy, how you going? Hey, uh, we're looking for a tyre for our feed mixer. Um, it's had a complete blowout. Where are you guys going? You know, Laura. See you later. Bye. Bye. Just put a bale of hay out for those sheep so they got something to chew on when they're done with shearing tomorrow and they go out back out into the paddock just so they got a bit of chow there and i've put the bucket on the loader we're going to come over here now and do a bit of clean up from seed cleaning got a few piles of grain to get rid of and yeah we'll just have a general tidy up might be a couple of bins to clean out as well might as well get it done now get it out of the way talk about efficiency i only rang about that about an hour or two ago and they've already come out and whacked it on and she's back going again beautiful
So we're just looking to maintain a basic level of hygiene around our bins there uh, where we store our clean grain for this year and all that sort of thing even though a lot of it's treated but we want to get the piles of grain off the ground so we're not giving the, the rodents a free feed, we're not bringing the birds in for a free feed, we're not attracting the weevils in to get into any grain. Like I said the, the, the seed stuff's being treated so they shouldn't get into that but we just want them, like I said, maintain a base level of hygiene around there. And plus we don't want rotting piles of grain that are all stinky around there in the winter time. And, uh, it's just better to clean it up, take it as far away from the bin site there as we can and then just get rid of it. And plus some of that stuff's no good to feed the sheep because it's had a seed treatment put over it. So it can't be stock feed anymore. Well, we might give these augers a little bit of a flush out here. They've had, both of them have had that seed treatment up through them. So might run a bit of water through them, try and clean them out a bit in case we're augering something for sheep feed. Rather not have too much of that stuff in there. So we'll do that. And then there might be a couple of bins here that I can clean out. That way they're ready. They're flushed out, ready to go for whatever we need them for later in the year. Now that we've got a couple of clean augers and the feed mixer back, there's uh, about two or 300 kilos of wheat in the bottom of one of those bins. It's uncleaned. We'll chuck that in the feed mixer, a bit of sheep chow, uh, and then we'll give that bin a wash out and park him up as well. And geez, we've uh, had a pretty good job of cleaning up over here. We'll be on the right track. <laughs> Like a well-oiled machine, just keep firing them in. Well, it is 5.30. I'm going to go back over the road and get my ute. I'm going to put those sheep in the shearing shed for the guys in the morning. And then I've got to go have a look at our aircon on the house because it is leaking water everywhere. It's just an evaporative. And uh, yeah, I noticed this morning when I went out there that there's water pouring out of it. So I need to get up on the roof and have a quick look at that before uh, things get out of hand. Well, it is really nice to have all that done. Seed cleaning done, any of the bins we're not using, they're clean, put back. There's sort of nothing worse than coming over here and thinking, oh, I need to move a bit of grain here or there, and the field bins are dirty, the augers are dirty, the hoppers are full of old grain, and you know, you're gonna have to get all that stuff done, so might as well get it done now. And it sounds like, most of our fertilizer might come next week for seeding, which would be really nice. So seed cleaning done, fertilizer in the bins. That'll be a beautiful thing.
Come here. Come here. Don't you Let's go up there. Hey! Don't think you're coming this way. Ah, 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 ah. I didn't realise that was open. That was a close call, wasn't it? My goodness. In the shed you go. Oh no, get out, get out. I don't know if the camera was recording then, but I had one shoot past me there at the last second, just as I was pushing them into the shed. It ran out that sheep ramp and got out. So, but anyway, it basically did a circle in the yard and ran straight back here because it knew where all its mates were. It's back in now, so. <laughs> face to face with the beast. All right, well, you guys enjoy your haircut in the morning. Well, that is the end of another glorious and successful day of farming. So just wanted to say thank you to everyone as always for watching the videos. We really do appreciate it. If you want to support the channel or you want to see more videos, just consider liking and subscribing because that really helps us out. You guys have yourselves a good one. And until next time, see ya.